Okay, welcome everybody to my YouTube channel where we do honest, comprehensive, unbiased reviews of tech products and other cool gadgets. Today we will be looking at the Portal Wi-Fi router. It is a unique, one-of-a-kind device unlike any other. This was on Kickstarter. I missed out. I wasn't sure about it. It is now on the market. You can buy it on Amazon. I got this one on eBay, probably from another guy that got it on Kickstarter. And this will help probably solve many people's Wi-Fi issues in crowded, congested environments like big cities, apartments, businesses. So I'm gonna set this box aside and I'm gonna read you a little bit about it because it's not about how many antennas it is has or how powerful it is. It's about the the brain and the unique bands that it, it uses. It's kind of hard to explain, but let me read you a little bit about it from their Kickstarter. It says, Wi-Fi has become a victim of its own popularity. Over the past five years, Wi-Fi data has increased 100 times and the technology behind it is struggling to keep up. While router manufacturers have increased their maximum speed limits, they have not addressed the primary cause of poor performance, which is traffic and congestion. Billions of Wi-Fi devices now compete for limited radio airwaves. We all share causing invisible traffic jams and congestions, making Wi-Fi slower, more unreliable than ever. Portal is the first and only router specifically engineered to cut through and avoid congestion, delivering consistent high performance with greater coverage throughout your home. Its proprietary Spectrum Turbo Charger technology provides access to, here's the key, 300% more of the radio waves than any other router improving performance by as much as 300 times. Not three times, they're saying 300 times. And in range and coverage by as much as two times in crowded settings such as city homes and multi-unit apartments. And then there's a little video, we'll skip that. Uh, End Gadget says that's a big deal. Hubbing to post, this is the best Wi-Fi router ever? Question. The Verge Portal's trick is that it can be run on unclogged airwaves. Inc. says nearly bulletproof Wi-Fi. Tom's Guide says this router uses radar detection to boost Wi-Fi speeds. And it says Spectrum is a beautiful thing, is the heart of how wireless works. The more you have, the faster and more reliable. Why your Wi-Fi sucks? Again, because of crowds. Think of Spectrum like lanes of a highway. Most home Wi-Fi routers today operate on just one shared Wi-Fi lane, maybe two if you're lucky. If you're in a city apartment, your Wi-Fi could be competing with 35 or more Wi-Fi networks, and the problem isn't just the number of neighboring networks, it's also what they're doing. A single home, single neighbor running a BitTorrent or simply folks streaming HD at 8 p.m. every night consume most of the spectrum you all share. This is called congestion. It's like being stuck in rush hour traffic. And then they show um, in different megahertz or bands, slow and fast, showing six lanes. So this is the key, what, what makes it faster. It says fast lanes like having your own private highway to the internet. And Portal has other unique, super cool technology, smart lanes, which actively monitor for congestion and intelligently changes lanes, steering around a network to give you a reliable, uninterrupted, hassle-free internet. Smart lanes trademark is like driving that private highway in a super agile sports car. Best of all, it works seamlessly with all your connected devices that you already have. And then it talks a little bit more about rate versus range. Um, bigger more antennas help, but congested environments like city homes, even big antennas can't cope with effects of congestion. And then it shows a, a before and after speed test, sleek, beautiful design, uh, nine 
powerful antennas inside using Mu Miwo bead forming. A single portal, here you go, can cover a home of approximately 2,500 square feet, but of course that's not counting for walls. Two portals can be used together to form a enterprise grade mesh, or you can use one to extend your network for larger homes. And then it's telling you how it's super easy. Use the one to the app, which we're gonna to get to, and it's got Wi-Fi protected access, double firewall protection, parental controls, proprietary rolling code to secure guest networks, and this more speed comparison helps when streaming ultra HD 4K movies and such. And then that show tells you what's under the hood. 802.11.ac Wave 2, Bluetooth Smart, 10 advanced radios, 9 powerful antennas, 7 operating bands, fast lanes, DFS channels, um, intrusion detection, one touch setup, AC2400, dual concurrent architecture, dual, dual band, 5 and 2.4 gigahertz, as you would expect, multi user MIMO. And then it mentions all the bands, frequency, I'm not going to get into that. Bluetooth 4.2, it just helps to connect when setting up with your phone. And it's got traffic monitor, um, kind of just repeating everything. QoS prioritized network traffic, DLNI server for your media, TV and game consoles, and then their story. So that's from their, their Kickstarter page. If you go to the website, it says about... A lot, mostly a lot of the same thing dealing with a crowded environment, three times more radios, smart traffic steering, speed coverage and range. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the box. It's a simple, big, large, white portal box. It's got a different color for the O. The sides is just a cardboard insert. And then on the back, 2016 Ignition Design Labs. All rights reserved, designed in California. And then it's got serial and MAC address. It's got their address. Shows the countries that it can operate in. And it's for indoor use only. So let's slide this puppy open and let's see what's inside and what good routers are made of, right? It's not a pivot box, it's a lift box. Wait for the suction to come out. Wow, that lid is really, really heavy with a cushion. So we could build quality on that. So we've got the kind of the UFO kind of slim and sleek router there. Then you got um, two several languages. You got the connect portal WAN to your internet gateway. So it's showing like to connect to the modem. I'm not going to connect it to my router because I have a router modem combo and sometimes it crashes. Connect power to the portal, wait for LED light, the O to turn green, up to 10 minutes. Interesting. Download the app, I did that. So later I will pause the video and I will let you know how the setup goes. Oops. Flying sheets on the ground, that's just the FCC statement, so we won't need that. Then you've got the Ethernet cord, won't need that because I already have one ready, good to go. Looks like a pretty good length. It's Cat 5E, and I have Cat 7. And then uh, it's a box insert, I don't know if there's anything down below. And then a wedged shaped box, probably going to be the AC supply. Yeah, so it's the AC supply. So I might need an extension cord. So let's see. it's pretty, pretty large size, pretty, pretty heavy, all white. So let's open this up, see how long it is. Extension cords. Uh, sometimes you need them, but if you can, try to move your stuff so you don't need to use a extension cord. Kind of my philosophy. Uh, that looks like it's about. Uh, Maybe two and a half, two and a half feet, or maybe thirty inches. So 
So let's get to the, see what the main unit looks like. Take off this protective sheeting. Glossy white instead of instead of black. Squeaky clean guys. And then on the bottom, got these curved uh, rubber feet. And then it has the looks like the default SSID or network name. And then uh, don't know if that's the or the passwords down below. Anyhow, then it has the IP address. The password for that if you want to manually configure it instead of using the web interface and the model it's the only one they make power 12 volt 3 amp okay so and then in the back that you got your electric outlet your uh, WAN so that's essentially your network in or, or from your modem or from one of your ports on your other router and then you got four uh, inputs right there and then USB 1 and 2 I'm not sure if they're 2 or 3.0 generation and then of course you got a reset hole so and it has kind of a medium weight to it and overall pretty pretty light so I'm gonna pause the video right here and then uh, let you know how the how the setup goes